welcome to easy late english splitting the hair here we are coming up with final distinction in meaning and use usage of synonyms splitting the hair find distinction in meaning find distinction in usage of apparently what we call synonyms and this is a mobile view special so let us see the difference and the distinction in meaning and usage of apparently what we call synonyms but they are not exactly synonyms because there is a fine difference in meaning from easy let english another mobile view special first we are taking commence start and begin commence start and begin let us see what is the difference in terms of usage commence is more official often planned and scheduled it is always planned and scheduled like commencement of an examination the date of commencement of an insurance policy official planned and scheduled start is usually used for cases where a motion is implied there is a physical or symbolic motion a train starts from a station a ball starts rolling physical motion begin is a general term for all situations beginning of the rainy season beginning of the story so commence is official for something which is planned and scheduled start is used for something when there is a physical or symbolic motion and begin in all other cases like beginning of the rainy season next we have witness evidence and proof witness is a person witness is a human being a witness is always a human being as a noun as a verb to witness means to see but as a noun witness means a human being is a person he has seen or he knows something important and not only that he knows but is ready to say it when he is called upon to do so first of all he knows something and second he is ready to say what he knows before a court of law that is what we call to testify before a court of law so witness is a human being he will come to a court and say what he knows he was a witness to the accident he had seen the accident and is ready to come to the court and uh, say what he knows the robber murdered the witness a day before the hearing the witness who would have uh, given evidence against the robber was killed evidence is an object or statement or any material for or against an argument evidence is not a human being witness is a human being evidence is not a human being it's an object a statement or any material what a witness says that is evidence any cctv footage evidence any fingerprints fingerprint is an evidence any data recovered from computer or mobile phone evidence the witness was called to give evidence what he, what witness says is evidence the cctv footage provided a strong evidence against the culprit the cctv footage was an evidence the fingerprint if you find somewhere that is an evidence it's not a human being it's either a statement or any material against or for any person proof while an evidence is indicative a proof is final conclusive it establishes a truth or otherwise in science and mathematics we give some proof to establish the truth of a law for instance you can give a proof to show that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree fossils are the strongest proof of the existence of dinosaurs next we have liver and liver these are actually homophones liver and liver liver l i is an organ of the body here you have liver it secretes bile and aids in fat digestion digestion of fats and oils too much drinking of alcohol could damage your liver liver a 
And liver with LE is a simple machine that helps us to do something difficult. A nutcracker is a class of class 2 liver, uh, liver of second class. Liverage means deriving the maximum advantage through any tactics. You can leverage private sector investment through loans, taking advantage of a situation or a method. So, LI liver is an organ in the body and LE liver is a simple machine like a nutcracker. Bull, ox and bull. Bull is a normal or uncastrated male. The bull is a father of those seven calves. The bull is normal and uncastrated means it can reproduce, it can be father. Ox is a castrated male, so it cannot become father. Oxen are usually used to pull carts. Bullock may be used as a synonym for ox, but in North America, a bullock refers to a young bull. In olden days, people used to travel in bullock carts. So here we have bullock, that is bullock cart, that is ox or bullock, castrated uh, animal. Here we have cow, the female, giving milk. And here we have bull, which is a male, and this uh, bull, this male, can become father of calves. It can become father because it is normal and uncastrated, it is capable of reproduction. The female gives milk and this is castrated. It can never become father, but it is used for drawing bullock carts or uh, for plowing the fields previously or for some other work. Lock. Lock and padlock. Lock is a verb as well as a noun. It refers to any mechanism that fastens or secures anything as a noun. A mechanism to fasten or secure. In modern banks, Walls are provided with electronic locks that open with secret passwords. You can even lock your mobile phone. Padlock is a detachable lock. It is a detachable lock made of strong metal and open with a key. The padlock is made of brass. This padlock is made of brass or it can be made of steel or iron. We shall bring you more such lessons in this course, splitting the hair, finer distinction between closely related or often confused words. So be with us, be with Easy Late English. You can WhatsApp us if you need specific tutorial video on any topic, all of our services being entirely free of charge. So we'll come back with more useful videos. Till then, thank you and goodbye.